All right, we've talked about the layers of the skin, the cutaneous membrane overall. Um, now we're going to talk more in detail of the layers just of the epidermis. So there are different layers within the epidermis itself. Um, this we will see in lab also. So you will look at these layers, be able to name them. That will help a lot. Um, it also is going to be important for how looking at epidermal growth. So the epidermis is able to repair damage and grow back and constantly is growing. Um, knowing the layers is important for looking at that growth process. Okay, so the first thing to talk about when we talk about um, the epidermis is the types of epidermis. So there are um, generally, well, there's thick and thin skin. Um, apparently this is thick and thick skin, cross that out. Um, most of your body is actually covered in thin skin. This is just what it means, thin. So the epidermis itself is this right here, is very thin, right? Um, thick skin is a lot thicker. There are more layers. There are actually more layers of epithelial cells in thick skin. Um, cells either alive or dead, but there's layers of cells. Thick skin is present in your fingertips. Um, it's the, where there's the most thick skin. Um, it's somewhat variable across your body. Um, we'll look at thick skin because it's easier to see those layers. We'll see that type in lab. So we'll be using thick skin as our example. Um, but just so you know, um, most skin in your body is is thinner than is thin. So you've seen um, these layers of the skin before, the epidermis being this entire purple piece um, all the way down to there. And we've got our papillary layer of the dermis goes till a about here, um, hard to tell exactly, somewhere along here. And then we've got our reticular dermis below that, that dense irregular tissue. And below that, our hypodermis is made of adipose tissue. We're going to zoom in to these layers of the epidermis. Um, so kind of this square right here. So let's zoom in there. There we go. Here are my drawings. All right, epidermis. I'm going to start at the top. So this is the superficial side of the body. This is the apical surface of the epithelial epithelium. Um, this is the basal side. Here is the papillary dermis down here. Reticular dermis, probably just below, kind of down there. Um, okay. So the epidermis, the apical side, we're going to, the top layer is the stratum corneum, about there. Strata mean layers. It's like stratification. Um, geologists talk about stratification of the earth. So stratum is a singular. These layers are going to be called strata. Stratum corneum. I remember this because kind of like a crown, cor cornea, um, corona is crown in Spanish. Um, corneum actually means, refers to the horny layer. It's these dead cells that are kind of scaly in some species, like reptiles, even more scaly, the top layer of the epidermis. Um, so this is going to have, we'll call them scaly dead cells. Um, the, even though they're dead, they're still playing an important role um, in protecting. Um, below that, there is a clear layer. This is the stratum lucidum. Stratum lucidum. Lucidum means clear, so lucid. Um, this is a clear layer. It's very waterproof, as is the stratum corneum. A lot of this stuff provides waterproof protection because of the proteins in it. This is only present in thick skin. So it's part of what makes your um, fingertips kind of waxier. And the protein in this layer just doesn't stain. So that's why it's, it's clear like this. 
Below that, there is a very much more colored layer. The very bottom is super purple here. Um, this is the stratum granulosum. I remember that because a granular layer. And if you zoom into these, you can see kind of little granules, especially in the purple down there. Um, that is where the keratin, the protein keratin is starting to be produced. And you can see it in that first layer down there. Um, that's what stains really dark. Keratin is what's waterproof. It starts to be produced here. Um, at the same time as the, the cells start to die, and you can see that um, here, like the cells are kind of empty at this top portion of the stratum granulosum, and then they're actually dead cells from there and above produced. And we'll see this again, I'll have a separate video on talking about the growth of the epidermis specifically, talk about the kind of the cells, what the cells do. Um, but that's why it's purple, is those uh, keratin production. Below that, there is the stratum spinosum, spiny layer. It's kind of, I don't know, kind of spiny, bunch of little cell dots in there, um, kind of nondescript layer that's in between the base layer and the granulosum. Um, it's fairly thick. The base layer is the stratum basale. It is a single layer thick. Basale. Um, this is the bottom layer of cells. So anything above this bottom layer up to this purple line is the stratum spinosum. Stratum basale is where um, cell growth init is initiated from. Cells divide and um, then push up to push the other layers up. And then the process of growth we'll talk about. Um, okay, so that's basically the layers. Um, provide protection, um, provide waterproof, waterproofing um, with that keratin protein from here and above. Um, layers of dead cells are important for protection. And then the living cells on the bottom are important for that regeneration and continued growth.